I want to do like a little like a like a. Can we say some words? Please. Today we mourn for our fallen friend, a man of virtue, a man of men. He stood tall where others shirked, fought honor while others smirked. He lives um, on within our hearts. Captain Barbo, with bro, Chad like Barbo, like kind of will never part. Uh, I, oh. Let's just put him to rest. I don't think this is right, and I don't think my god is right. Aye, they say it ain't be like it do, but it do be like it do. Let's I also, see. by the way, quit drinking, so I'm pretty sober right now. You want to switch gods? Yeah. Yeah, I want to switch gods. I'm, I'm, I'm jaded. I do not, I don't trust Jexel anymore. And uh, which god would you like to worship? Whatever, is there a god of like life or something? Yes, because I feel very. That would I go be the opposite Martha. direction. Martha, Martha, the goddess of healing. Okay. And life and creation. Cool. Hi, Martha was Chad's mother. Was she really? Yes, Lassie. It must be a sign. You can feel the warmth of the goddess of Martha kind of flowing through you a little bit. It's hesitant, you know. She's not. Well, she does like to welcome converts. Having people switch between gods so quickly like this is a, a little tough for them. So you can have access to her spells for now, but you're on thin ice. Guys, I won't let anyone else down like I did Chad, okay? <laughs> Midori redeemed. A new theme? We'll see where this leads the stream. Yeah, I just, uh, I just did a little quick wardrobe change. Instead of wearing, like, all dark clothes, I switched to, like, a white holy cloak and buy another cross necklace. And yeah, that's that's it. I, I will mention if you stopped by your tavern to change your clothes, you do notice that there is a very nice bottle of forty year scotch with a little red ribbon tied around it sitting on your nightstand. I stare at it pensively for a good five minutes and then turn away and close the door. It'll be there waiting for you, should you change your mind. I'm sure it will be. What were you used? What were you used in Barbo's doing before uh, Chad's untimely death? So we were going to head to a city and inquire. I don't remember what city it was or what the name of the person was. Um, does anybody else remember this? You guys Everyone are looks around. <laughs> Not sure who was doing what to whom. Eh. Oh my I think God. I have I'm Captain Barbo. I wouldn't know. All right, give me, uh, if you guys can't figure it out, I want intelligence checks. Oh, we were, was... um, the, the, the lady that we talked to, I believe her name was Claire Blackmare. And the, ah, man yes. we were, the man we were seeking was Major Tavington, I believe was his name. Midori, do you remember which town we were supposed to head to? Listen, I wrote a 21. Quick yeah, I know. You're looking real I... smart over there. That's why I asked. <laughs> yeah, it was in um, some small, nameless, outlying village near Fenden. It was a small, nameless, outlying village in Fenden. <clears throat> you arrive back in Fenden and make your way to Claire Blackmare's estate. Wait, wait, wait can I sort my brand out for a second? I thought that the Blackmare estate was where we met the lady. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, I yeah. thought we were going to try to find the major in the other town to talk to him. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. Sorry. Okay. If you didn't want to talk to her, you wanted to talk to the major. Yep. That would be the, the big red circle over the town of Pernissus mm -hmm. in the southwest. What kind, of a, what kind of a city is Pernissus? It's a small beachside place. Not a lot going on. It would be considered a relatively safe, stable town. We're not going to go there and it's in flames or owned by thieves or something. That would be highly unlikely, right? Right. The town itself should be fine. Just the route there could be dangerous. Perhaps we should travel slightly off-road, even if it means we might be slow. I agree with the gnome. I never be agreeing with the gnome. I see no reason to rush this journey. We're not under any time constraint. I no time constraint except the people be suffering. <laughs> Quite the noble that's pirate you are. fine with Locke. Yeah. We are in search of a major. Um, are there war outposts or anything here, or barracks, something that where we would imagine we would find somebody like this, or no? Absolutely. There is a recruiting uh, officer down in the middle of the, the market square with a couple of his sidekicks there uh, trying to get all the young men and women of the area to join up. You there, sir, with the armor and the long sword and the shield and his gnomish friend and the man Hello. with two swords. You look like you're twice as ready as everyone else. Do you Hi. guys want honor and glory? I am uh, this noble man, and I point to Locke. I am his caretaker, and he is very interested in joining the, the cause. Uh, first, we need to speak with the Major. We had uh, an important errand with him, and then after that, I'm sure we could speak uh, and arrange something. Uh, I'm so sorry. Major Tavington is um, <clears throat> currently off serving at the front leading the cavalry. Of course, but uh, I, you said you, he had a son here. I'm sure he could speak instead. 
Yes, yes, his son would do well. Well, my friend, we thank you for the prattle. Perhaps later, after we speak to the Major's son, we'll talk about the battle. Did you just call my speech prattle? There's a reason no one likes gnomes, you know. No one likes gnomes, matey, no one. It's the one thing we can all agree on here. That's not true. Stop being mean to him. I Chad hated gnomes just as much as me. Chad loved Gerald. I kind of look at the ground for a moment, and then I kind of squeeze my bagpipe, and I sort of fade a couple of steps back, saying, I love me nothing more than a sad gnome. Tell him, don't worry. You are useful and important. Don't listen to them. They have no idea what- Thank you, Midori. A friend in me you can find wherever you may find your glory. I also like your rhymes. I never told you that. 